And there have been many great Cleveland chefs who have changed the city's culinary landscape. One of the most buzzed about names in recent years, Jill Vita and her Lakewood restaurant Salt. I met up with our latest game changer for a chat and a taste of what sets her apart from the rest. If you start with a really good product, you really don't have to mess with it that much to have a good thing. And honestly, it's, it is mostly just salt <laughs> a lot of the times. Salt is so much more than just a seasoning for Chef Jill Vita. Uh, wars have been fought and won and, and lives lost over, over this thing. It's the only rock that we eat. Since opening her very first restaurant just three years ago, Vita has been racking up accolades and honors, soaring to the top of Cleveland's culinary scene. But if you told her that was going to come long ago, she would have taken it with a grain of, you guessed it, salt. Because I didn't think I was going to be a chef when I was a, a little one. You know, I had different aspirations. I wanted to be an artist. I just kind of fell into the restaurant business and really loved it and just kind of wanted to excel and be better. And here we are. The restaurant scene in Cleveland now is much, much better than it was 20 years ago. Absolutely. Um, yeah, because I was there 20 years ago. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, there's a lot of different people that uh, influenced me and helped me to get where I am. All that hard work landing her two consecutive James Beard semi-finalist nominations, the Oscars of the culinary world. How about being a woman oh, yeah. and have that be the case? The ladies are showing up and getting their voices out there and starting to be more on the forefront, which I think is awesome. I find it interesting too, the hard work and you being from Cleveland, you know what Clevelanders want. Yeah. But what you do here isn't necessarily something that Cleveland does. Correct. In order to, to push Cleveland, um, culinarily speaking, I think we have to make people a little uncomfortable and show them that there's other stuff out there. At Salt, Vita focuses on small plates and she changes her menu every 10 weeks. Do you consider yourself a trendsetter? We just kind of tapped in at the right time and, and it's working. Working so well, it may soon be expanding. Here on Game Changers, we like to break news. So let's do that right now. What is next for you? <laughs> well, we definitely want to do another restaurant in Ohio City. There's a ton of growth going on right there. And I think it would be advantageous for us to do something in that area. It's going to happen, I think, probably within the next year or so. Within the next year? Yeah. No matter what comes next, Vita promising to continue to approach food with an artistic vision, giving me a first-hand look. That's all, just salt and pepper on there? Salt and pepper, yeah. You up for a little uh, rapid fire? Yes, I haven't right. had my coffee, so I'll, I'll right. answer as quickly as possible. If you weren't a chef, what would you be? A uh, veterinarian. I notice you love tattoos, right? I mean, this is nothing. How many I, do you have? 33-ish. 33. 33. Yeah. What's your favorite dish here that you have made at Salt? Yeah, come on, <laughs> give it to me. The lamb belly, which is on the menu right now. I didn't think it would do well. And I, so I always like those underdogs. Sounds good. It is good. Chef Jill, thank you for being a game changer and Thanks making Cleveland me. a better and tastier place. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Man, Vita is no stranger to TV cameras. She won Guy's Grocery Games on the Food Network last year, and she told me she'd love <laughs> to do her own cooking show one day. Her co-owner is Jessica Parkinson. They're doing great things, obviously, in Lakewood, and also she's a Bay High grad, as am I. Yeah. So a lot of rocket power in yeah. salt. Yeah. Oh, I just cool. said to you, she looks so <laughs> familiar. I could have sworn I saw her on the Food Network. Yeah. Oh, and my she's God. Maybe you did. Lakeside, but yeah. she, she's awesome. Her she's food great. is phenomenal. Oh, it's That good. is one of those restaurants, especially if you're West Side, if you have Mm -hmm. been to salt yet you have you to try have it. have to try that. Yeah, yeah. You get great atmosphere, great studio. food, and she's always coming up with something new. And Danielle, you asked why she changes the menu. Mm -hmm. She gets bored with the food after a while, so she doesn't want to go beyond 10 weeks in the oh, artistic wow. style. Yeah, so she's, that, wow. she's really that, That's one of many reasons. Anyway. All right, mm. channel free outing. We'll <laughs> have to go.